Tom Johnson, 23 car with Naked Tiller, your flash race winner. Looking to have a good run once again. This time we are at the new renewed Daytona, so we are not at the Legacy Daytona. Three minutes left to practice. There goes a few drivers into pit road. Both Nate and and everyone is in the pits right now. Let's go ahead and get a scenic camera. Get some music playing in the background here. While we wait for practice to end. Uh, we're gonna have to end the stream on my end just for a quick minute here to fix some uh, stream settings to make the quality just a bit better. So we'll be right back. Okay, so. I think we are good now. Although I am not seeing the option, so. Oh, well, that would be why. We need more bitrate. And there we go. This is coming to an end. All right, so I'm not going to be able to get you guys 1080p tonight, but we should be good for the next week. Well, next race so it's qualifying time here at Daytona now we only have a handful of drivers out right now with the 29 car being the furthest along his qualifying run right now On board with a 99 or 29 of Joe Therese. 
and he is driving for Joe Torres uh, Racing. Twenty-five years old from Garland, Texas. First season in the FRL series, but for the iRacing series. However, he is a six-time FRL console series champion. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and head back. Here's the 77 car. That's Luke Nup, 14 years old from Peoria. Peoria, I don't know how to say your hometown. Sorry about that. Here we have Nate Catella, 22 years old, won the clash backwards. And yes, it seems unreal, but it is true. This mad lad. He's something else. He's going to be one to watch tonight. So keep your eyes on that number four car. There's the 25 of Kyle Zimmer, co founder of FRL from Michigan, 27 years old, driving the Ally Chevrolet. And David Wilson, right now, he was fast in the clash. And currently, he has one of the fastest laps on the board. They 51.07 with, uh, I do believe that's Eddie Hawks behind him in the 45, 58 years old from Stanford, Florida. Unsponsored Chevrolet Camaro. You got Derek Caster coming in third. Joe Therese just took the pole. Derek Caster making his first FRL league start in the GNS series from Pepeline, Nebraska, 26 years old. And on his second lap, he'll go up to third. And currently, Eddie Hawks has your pole in that 45 car. Luke Nup in the 77 set his first lap. Now is trying to set that second lap. One of the uh, younger drivers in the league here. See how he does tonight, making his first career start as well in that 77 Toyota Supra. And across the line, he's going to go from 14th to the front. Luke Nup. He's now up top with a 50.75, two hundredths of a second faster than Eddie Hawks in that 45 car. Kyle Zimmer working on his second lap in the 25 Ally machine. Here he comes across the line. He is currently sitting 14th on the grid. And Kyle Zimmer now up to the pole using that apron, which is legal, by the way. That is legal to do. Chris Roberge and Fernando Matos did not set good laps. Especially that 17, he did two laps and finished with a... 52.41, 28 years old, one win in Daytona, at Daytona in July, and it looks like it is go time. Let's go ahead and get a word from our Grand Marshal. For the most famous words in motorsports, please welcome your Grand Marshal, chef, restaurateur, and host of Food Network, diners, drive-ins, and dives, Guy Fieri. Driver, start your engine! I 
I am so dumb. My mic has been muted this whole entire time. Alright, so let's um continue on. So far it hasn't been great. Be ready to go ahead and pace here. Go ahead, show the grid. Kyle Zimmer, Luke Nup, row one, row two. You got Eddie Hawks and Adrian Shoemaker. David Wilson and Derek Caster in your third row. Joshua Riddle and Joe Therese, row four. Row five, you have Dakota Moda, Mata. I don't know how to say your last name, buddy. Sorry. And Wayne Lowe. Row six, you have Tanner Sharp. And Doug McCollum. Let's get more rows here. Nakatilla, Chris Roberge, row seven, row eight, Fernando Matos, and Tom Johnson. Then you got uh, Connor Barry, Ethan Thompson, Billy Wise, James Effall, Brandon Wright, Thomas Wise, Brian Lowhead. And Johnny Berardi. They are pacing right now to take that green flag. Go ahead, get to that twenty five car. Is it live or is SDK just hmm. does seem to be SDK just having a bit of a stroke here I'm saying Zimmer's in 22nd right now which is not the case because I am looking right at him Anyways, we're getting ready to go green. Green flag is out at Daytona. Big crash, out. lap one of the race. Tons of people involved. Nakatilla with no front bumper. Let's go ahead and go back to... Let's see what happened here. Looks like they just, uh, I can't really tell what happened. Let's see if we can uh, slow it down a bit. And get a little closer as well. So we're on board with Doug here. See, I was in front of him. Let's uh, get a, another look here. Let's look in front. Watch that 34 car. We're on board with the... Doug here. I can't really tell what happened. We don't have any good angles. Uh, we can try to get one more here. Looks like the 12 car came down on someone. Can't tell who that is. I think that's the 29. Joe Therese, I think the 12 car just wasn't clear of that 29. But I am probably wrong because I cannot really tell what happened. But let's go back live here. Live footage from Daytona. 
Why does it do this? Come on. Okay. I'm sorry, I had to pull up the UI because um it was being very weird. But um let's go ahead and see if we can uh snag an interview with someone here. I can get the right there we go. Is a uh, seventy seven in a VC at all? Not that I can see here. Let's go ahead and uh Hmm. Grab Tanner Sharp here. Hey Tanner, you got a copy? Yep. All right. So caution came out lap one of the race. So uh, what are your expectations throughout the rest of tonight's event? What's my expectations for the rest of the event? Uh, I have no idea. Depending upon, I mean, I don't know if that was a connection issue or what with whoever was doing what up there, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, take it easy with the with these new um. Uh, I racing updates uh, 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 when it comes to the super speedway racing so uh, we'll see what happens and uh, we got a long way to go just hopefully everybody can take it easy we can give each other a lot of room and then kind of really race balls to the wall for the last 10 laps what is your mindset going into tonight's race I was going to interview someone earlier but just didn't have enough time just try to get out of the good points day. Just have a good run, have fun, you know, because I love super speedway racing, and just try to have fun and uh, make the best of things, you know. Uh, right now, it's not a good start, but hopefully, we can turn this around and just kind of uh, do some drafting experience and hopefully get up to the front and lead some laps because that's what I like to do is get a bonus point. All right, well, I wish you luck. Looks like we're about to go green, and uh, good luck for the rest of the night. Thank you, good sir. All right, we're getting ready to uh, go green once again. Kyle Zimmer and Luke Nup, row one, gonna take us to the green flag once again. So I make sure this is working properly. Okay. Cool. We're getting ready to go green once again here at Daytona International Speedway with the Fast Lane Racing League Grand National Series. You can see the cars in the distance from this view. Off goes the pace car. And green flag is out once again here at Daytona. Chris Roberge involved in an accident there not going to bring out the yellow and as I say that caution flag is out once again here at Daytona International Speedway.
Kyle Zimmer will continue to lead the way here. And once everything is calmed down, we'll go ahead and snag an interview with uh, Chris Roberge there involved in the incident here. Well, unfortunate for that number 98 machine. He is fast for sure, so hopefully he can recover from this. Hey, Chris, this is Sean up in the booth. You got a copy? All right. Unfortunate for that. Um, can you uh, tell us what happened on your end? I was up high, and then uh, somehow uh, number one came up and just got me in the rear, and that was the end of it. Is there uh, anything that you could have tried to do differently that would have not made that happen, or was it not really avoidable? Uh, the one should not be. It shouldn't be. It should be unavoidable because I told every lap car that I'm up high, and then somehow I got hit in the rear. And make my car got loose, and that was the end of it. Well, it's unfortunate. Um, well, is this gonna change how you uh, play the rest of this race out at all? Uh, not yet. We will see what's gonna happen first. All right. Well, I wish you luck in the rest of tonight's race, and uh, good luck. Hope you see you in the I hope so too. Thank you. Go ahead, put your vote in the chat now. Which manufacturer is going to be this? Do you think it's going to be Chevy or Ford or a Toyota? As you can see, field is mostly dominated by Fords and Chevys. And then there's just that one lone Toyota 77 of, N of Luke Nup making his first start. So let's see how the rest of this race plays out. Nine laps completed so far. While the pace will go under commercial break for a few seconds.
All right, let's get them rolling once more at Daytona, shall we? See if we can get a clean lap in here. Off goes the pace car, and green flag, flag is out once again here at Daytona. Looks like we will get a lap in under green flag conditions. Here we go. Now it's race time. Kyle Zimmer on that inside line being pushed by Eddie Hawks on the outside line. Here they come out of turn number two. What a cool wow. What a push from the 45 car. The 20 of David Wilson pushing that 77 of Luke Nupp. Here comes the 28 into the picture of, well, that's uh, Connor Barry driving that Ford Mustang. One guy all the way down the road is able to merge back in safely, though. Pax kind of single filed out now. At 77 and uh, 20 car, just gonna have to find a place to slide back in without losing too many positions. Or they're gonna fight up top. It's their choice what they do. Down back stretch, Kyle Zimmer is the only race leader so far in tonight's event. 77 doing a great job leading the outside line. Looks like he has a 17 of Fernando Matos joining him. And it looks like Nate Catilla thought about going up there, but didn't. What else is that back there with him? It's a Ford. Can't tell the number, though. Uh, I'm gonna check quick. Might be a Dakota Matos. Matto. Muda. I, I'm sorry, I can't say his name. 71 car. That's an amazing picture right there. Yep, that's a 71 car right there. Fernando not quite able to get to the rear end of that 20 car. Seven seven's very stable. Here comes the 17 with a huge push from, uh, I think that is the uh, 71 again. Let's go on board with Kyle Zimmer in the 25 machine. Currently your race leader. Oh, actually, maybe All not. Right. Caution is out. Caution and is yellow out. flag is out once more. And it looks like that 71 car is involved, and I don't see anyone behind us right now, so... Let's go ahead and uh, get a replay, see what happened here. Oh, well, the 32 Billy Wise was just not clear there. And turn that number 71 machine. Tanner Sharp barely able to get through. Chris Roberts looks like he's fine. And there's Tanner Sharp in the three. Looks like he did end up doing a little bit of off-roading in that Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet Camaro. Not the race that three cars wanted, but we'll see what he can do to recover. And there's the 33 of um, Doug and Column. A lot of drivers being uh, taken out early on in this race. So we'll see what they do. I'm pretty sure they have two fast repairs, if I remember correctly. 
And the 45 of Eddie Hawks is now the year race leader, 58 years old, from Stanford, Florida. He was really pushing that 77 car. He was doing a great job at it. See if we can uh, go ahead and snag an interview with someone here. Hey, Eddie. Yeah, yeah. Oopsies, wrong place. Hey, Eddie, this is Sean up in the booth. You got a copy? Hey, Eddie. The... Somebody telling me? Oh, yeah, I got a copy. Sorry. It's all good. Um, So, you did a great job pushing that 77 car. Now you're up in the race lead. Uh, What is your mentality going forwards with just over half the race to go? I was just trying to stay clean. I was getting bumped, pushed around a little bit. Otherwise, I'd have probably stayed right behind uh, the 25 there. But that's the only reason I went outside and took the lead. Well, um, do you think uh, on this restart, uh, what do you think you're going to do? Are you going to push to get up to the front, or are you just going to try to hang it back since we still got a pretty long way to go? Yeah, I'll be just cautious, really. Depend all depends on where I'm at. I'll probably be a little cautious, and then uh, when it's time to go up front, make it up, try to get up there then. All right, well, I wish you luck in the rest of the race, and I uh, hope to see you in victory lane, Eddie. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Driver of the number 45 car. Been in an, an exciting race for sure. Connor Barry in the 28 up 16 positions and is now your race leader in the 28 car. Should have time to give one more interview here. I can find one. Yeah, let's go ahead and talk to driver of the 71. Dakota, you got a copy of that down there? Yep, I'm here. All right. Well, you were involved in that incident. Um, what are you going to try to do differently now that that happened? Um, I don't really know right now. Uh, I, that kind of happened quickly. Uh, it just looked like I got turned. I think for right now, since I'm a lap down and we're 15 laps in, I'm just going to hang in the back and uh, hope we get some more cautions here and then see what happens at the end. Do you think you'll be able to get your car back up front and become a factor at the end? I'm hoping. I'm seeing some speed here, and uh, they're keeping it really, really tidy up in front. So hopefully uh, I can get my lap back and fight for the first car to lap down and then see what happens all right well wish you luck in in that and hopefully we see you back up front you're doing pretty well good luck thank you there we go all right 17 laps in race one of the season ethan thompson is being scored your leader only because he's just ahead of the 28 car. Adrian Shoemaker and Luke Nupp stayed out, among others, and I'm pretty sure top four stayed out. It's going to be an interesting. Flag, green flag. And green flag is out. Not what I expected. But they're green 28, Barry. And why is this camera weird looking? There we go. Let's see what new tires does compared to older tires. Big difference or not. Let's see here. 14, trying to work that outside with Luke Nup pushing him behind. 
not quite able to clear him. Kyle Zimmer now going to go behind that 77 machine. Luking up to the point right now with no help from behind from the 28. And Luke Knupp, 14 year old, is going to be able to lead a lap in that 77 car. Nineteen laps in, just about fifty to go here. Fourteen looks like he wanted to go high. Thompson tried. Barry almost took that gap, and that could have ended badly for the front two there. And there goes Barry to the outside of Kyle Zimmer in the 25. Adrian Shoemaker now going to the rear of that 14 car. Two, three, and four now to go. Luke Nupp doing a great job. Kyle Zimmer pushing that 28 car. The outside line is kind of fading off, but that inside isn't really tightening up. So let's see if anyone tries to hop out of line. As I say that, there goes the 14 for a second there. He's going to pull her back down. Outside line's trying to get work done. We've got four on the outside, and it looks like around seven or eight on the inside. There goes that 14 car. He wants that race lead. Ethan Thompson working that 77 car with help from the 28 and the 25 from behind. Let's go ahead and go on board with him. All right, man. Is out. And Talking yellow out. flag is out once again here at Daytona. And Ethan Thompson did indeed have the position at the time of yellow. So let's uh, try to figure out what happened here. I don't see any. Uh... Whoa, was that Nate Catilla? I think that was in that four car. Let's see if we can uh, get a, a look here. Maybe. Guess not. I don't know what happened during that uh yellow flag there. Can't find anything either, so. And everyone else looks like they're coming down pit road. Nope, never mind. Checking up on the front stretch. Checking up on the front stretch heavily. While caution goes, we will go ahead and go to commercial break here at Daytona International Speedway.
right, we are one to green once again here at Daytona. Let's go ahead and switch back to the main broadcast. 8th and Thompson from S Salisbury, Maryland. 29 years old. He's going to take us to the green flag once again in that 14 Ford Mustang. Once they get to lap 35, that'll be halfway home at Daytona International Speedway. Luke Knupp and Ethan Thompson still have not pitted. So we'll see how that works out for those two drivers. Tires probably are not a big factor here. So we are going to have to see how that plays out for those two. It can go good or it can go bad. So... Here we go. We're getting ready to go green once more at Daytona. You can see him in the distance. Pace car pulls off. Everyone is ready to go green. Green, 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 green. Thompson is going to lead the opening restart lap, but he has a hard charging 45 car on his outside being pushed by Luke Nupp on that inside, or in that 77 car. Looks like they're going to have a good run out of turn number four here. They might be able to clear him. Here they come. 45 car is clear, 77 not quite though. And there it goes. There's that 24 car. That 24 was bad fast in the clash. Came up second, just shy of the win in the clash. After Nate Cotillo won it backwards. But here comes that 24 of Joshua Riddle now, looking to get his first win in the Grand National Series. But Luke Nupp leading that outside and the 45 of Eddie Hawks leading that inside and Kyle Zimmer dropping back that's gonna be, allow that 77 car to pop down a little bit surprising he did that considering the outside lines kind of forming their three wide Let's see what that's, uh, I think that's the 28 on that outside line, or top line now. And the 88, looks like he's gonna move up. There he goes, and they wasn't clear. Both drivers save it. And that's gonna allow that 77 car to keep the race lead with no opponents on that outside. But Eddie Hawks isn't gonna let this slide. He's going to figure out a way to get himself around this 77 of Luke Nup in the Fanatec Toyota Camry or er, Supra. Surprised no caution came out. Zimmer did a uh, probably a smart move by dropping back. And outside line coming back now. They've got four on that out top lane. There goes uh, Hawks. It w did not take long, and we though that outside line is going about to get trained. 
by the outside line here. Holy cow, look at that camera angle. So what a view. Here we come to three and four. 77 lead in the inside. Outside line doing a great job holding their own with the inside doing the same thing, but not as close here. Here they come through turn number two. And there they go. 14 makes it three. Whoa. 77 was able to get back inside. And there goes Eddie Hawks back down to the front now. We're coming to lap 30 of 70. Getting really close to that halfway mark. And there goes Luke Nup on the outside now. The young guns from Peora. 14 years old, looking to get his first career win. He's doing a great job leading the outside. Out of turn at number two. 77 car. Whoa! That 34 car was all over the back of the 77, almost turned him. That's Wayne Low in the 34 car. Let's go on board now with the 77 car. Oh, what happened? And Luke is now clear of that 45. Let's see if that 34 of Wayne Lowe can get in there now. And some of you might be wondering, where's the Clash winner? He's right there. In the back. Lead lap, but just running 17th right now. And it looks like it got mixed up up front here. Three wide now with Luke Nup in the middle. Wayne Lowe leading the outside. Let's see if we can uh, snag replay of how this happened here. Nope, we gotta go before then. So a lot of passing happened, that's for sure. Hmm. There we go. Here's where he was. All close to it. The old flag is out, but let's take a quick look at here. Looks like they just went um looks like 77 just vanished for a minute there and there they are three wide handful of people in front of them <laughs> all right let's uh see what happened here on the replay joe Torres in uh the se88 car that is the 88 of uh james effa See what happened here. Looks like the 20 card just kind of came up into him. What in the world happened there? Where's the 20? Where's the 20? 20, 20, 20. David Wilson here. Hold on. Let's, um... Back it up just a bit here. Slow her down. Let's see what happened. So it looks like the 88 kind of came down into the 20 car. Crashed both of them, collecting Joe Therese. 
Looks like Billy Wise might have been able to avoid it. Whoa! That 46 car barely avoided the first part. Does he get tagged again? No, he is clear. Wow. And the 48 of Adrian Shoemaker is going to go to the race lead now. Yes, he's the only driver who stayed out. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, grab an interview here. I don't see... David anywhere so let's uh go ahead and grab James hey James this is Sean up in the booth you got a copy yeah uh can you walk us through what happened on your end uh do you, do you think the 20 car kind of came up into you or from what I could tell I got put three wide and um I don't know if I don't know if I didn't give him enough room to come up on me a little bit I couldn't tell um, I'd say it was just close, tight racing. I'm not sure. From my vantage point, I couldn't tell. All right. Well, uh, do you think this will uh, change how you race throughout the rest of the race? Because since we're over the halfway mark now, uh, do you think you're going to try to do something different? Uh, I, I've got relegated back now, so I'll probably hang back, you know, for a few, you know, most of the race to see what happens. All right. Um, is there anyone you would like to thank? Um, just like to thank the league. Fastlane Racing, I'd like to thank the league for uh, always having me every year. And uh, what a good job they do and what a good job you guys do up in the booth. Much appreciated. All right. Well, wish you luck and hope to see you back up front again. All right. I'll try, buddy. Thank you. Driver of the 88 involved in the accident here just over halfway. Looks like he will indeed go a lap down among Derek Castor, Kyle Zimmer, and Dakota Moda. And actually, Dakota might be two laps down. Yeah. That is indeed the case. Oh no, he's only one lap down, and Brandon Wright, Kyle Zimmer are lead lap as well. And we are one degree now. Let's go ahead and go to our restart camera. Just uh, patiently wait here. Gonna be a great restart. Tanner Sharp, he's made his way back into that top five. 45, 35, 77, 48 are your rest of your top six there. Here we go. Coming out, field is coming out at turn number two or four. And there goes the pace car. Green flag is out once again here at Daytona International Speedway. Up through the gears they go as they head into turn number one. 28 tried to go to the inside of the three car, but that was not an option at all. Adrian Shoemaker leading that inside line with Luke Knupp leading the outside. Tanner Sharp using that apron a bit to cool down his car. Didn't want to hurt anyone. And Luke Knupp is clear. They're side by side through four. Luke Nupp's Toyota Supra, Supra, Supra. 
leading the outside, trying to clear that inside line of Adrian Shoemaker. And it looks like he has, holy crap, huge run. Shoemaker lost a ton of spots there. Looks like a lot of lifting just happened. Luke Knupp doing a great job. Leading again at Daytona. We're over halfway. And there's that 24 car. He's back in the top three. No surprise there either. He was fast during the clash. Whoa. Looks like the 77 kind of got pushed out of line there. If I can uh, see what happened again. I know he tried to block the 34 car, but he just wasn't able to. Too dangerous. And now the 34 of Wayne Lowe is your race leader. With Joshua Riddle trying to get around him on the high side. And there's Chris Roberge. I mentioned him earlier. He's up in the front again as well. These guys have always have interesting finishes. So we'll have to just wait to see what happens here. We're coming to just 21 to go. No. Why did it freeze? There we go. Wayne Lowe, Luke Knupp on leading that inside line. That 34 car is fast. No surprise there. 24 being pushed by Chris Roberge. Those two are trying to get around those two. Looks like we almost have some tandem drafting going on here. The top four have kind of pulled away from each other. So let's see what happens here. 98 kind of uh, pulled off there throughout the turn or straight away. So we're coming to 30 to go at the line. Wayne Lowe, Luke Knupp, Joshua Riddle, your top three, with Ethan Thompson and Chris Roberge rounding out your top five. Wow, look at the push from the 77 car. He is doing a great job pushing Wayne Lowe right now in his Toyota, or in his, uh, Chevrolet Camaro. Looks like he's going to try to move high all alone with no help from behind. And Joshua Riddle isn't a good two cars away from him. Josh is going to have a huge run to that 77. Forty two laps completed of seventy for the season opener for the Signorama one seventy five. Seventy seven now trying to take the race lead. They are almost three wide there for a second. Luke Nup being pushed by Joshua Riddle now with lap car. That's the 71. We talked to him earlier. Just trying to keep his car low there. Hopefully that doesn't cause an accident. 
Hopefully that's not foreshadowing either. Down the back stretch they go now. New Knup trying to get his first career win at just 14 years old. He's ran a great race so far tonight. Joshua Riddle! Riddle was almost not clear of that 98 machine. He almost hit him. So we're nearing 25 to go. That lap ca counter's about to change here in a few laps. It's going to look different. Guess you'll have to wait and see what happens there. But anyways... 77 and the 34 your front two inside and outside leaders great camera set up by the virtual racing network camera crew they've done a great job setting everything up for daytona and the outside line has just faded into obscurity and next lap that uh, lap counter will change we got Adrian Shoemaker up here. We're going to go three wide here for a minute. Not long. And they're all good to go. And back behind, you see that 45 of Eddie Hawks there. And the 28 of Barry trying to make his way up. But with no help from behind, I'm not going to... I'm going to say that that was a pretty bad, bad move. Whoa, the three, Tanner Sharp loose, tagging the 28 car. Yellow flag is going to come out for the sixth time tonight. Seizures. I, I, I don't know what happened there. Let's uh, go ahead and go back to a replay here. Uh, Joshua... No, it's David Wilson. No, it's Tanner Sharp, sorry. So I don't know if that was just a neck code incident that got him loose or him just trying to avoid that 98 car. It looks like it mainly was just him trying to avoid the 98 and the car just stepped out on him. Tagged that 28 car. And Catilla, ooh, a little bit of contact to the four car, but for the most part, he did avoid it. And Kyle Zimmer looks like he's about to get, he's about to tag that three car. Roughly okay, crazy. It's too aggressive, and um, nothing else you could really do there. Let's go back to the live here. Everyone is now coming down pit road. Excluding the pace car. Ooh, Adrian Shoemaker. Looks like he is going to stay out. Or I'm pretty sure he will be the wave around guy. Yeah, Shoemaker is a lap down to... A handful of laps down let's uh, see I don't know how many laps down he is I think it's yeah three laps down and the 71 car he was gonna try to get back up was unable to Luke Nup wins the race out of pit road he will get the lead once again. Almost thought he had some front end damage there for a minute. And there's an airplane landing in the background. Huh. I honestly didn't know that. That's kind of cool. Hmm, that's awesome. Anyways, back to the broadcast here. The iRacing Ford Mustang. Got a little bit of a revamp. I think all the pace cars did, I do believe. 
new designs on them, but I really don't see a difference right now, so. I don't know. Shoemaker should get the wave around here this time. And as they base, we'll go to broadcast commercial. All right, we are one degree now in Daytona, Florida Beach. The Signorama 175 here at Daytona International Speedway. Luke Nupp is going to lead us to the green flag. We'll have 22 laps remaining in tonight's race. And that depends on if they can uh, keep it green for the rest of the time. And uh, I don't think they will. We're going to go ahead and do another vote here. Got a handful of people in the chat now. Which manufacturer do you see winning tonight's race? We only have a single Toyota Supra and a handful of Chevys and Fords. So put your vote in the chat now. While you do that, we're going to get ready to go green here. Pace cars off, green flag is out, up through the gears, they shall go once again at Daytona. That 77 had a great restart. It almost looks like he has front end damage. Not quite sure though, he's going to be pushed by Chris Roberge though. I got my bets on the 77 car, honestly. He's been fast all night long. So let's see what he can work up with these last 20 laps. Now being pushed by Joshua Riddle in the 24 car. Roberge not able to clear him. We got more people on the outside, which is very surprising. We'll have to see what happens. So we got a long length of a race at Daytona. We probably have a lead lap or a lead change with one to go. So see if that 77 can hold on to it or not. Two wanting to go at the line here. I'm surprised that the 24 is able to stick with them with that rear end damage that he has. I'm pretty sure that spoiler, yeah, that spoiler is bent, man. We'll have to see if that affects him. So far, it doesn't look like it is, so. Let's see, and I take that back. He saves it, though. Luke Nup now with no help from that inside line. And he is going to lose the race lead to Chris Roberge, and they're wrecking behind. 23, and I think that was the four car of Nate Catilla. No, I take that back. There's so many cars that look like his, I don't know why. Do not quite know who that was. There's the 23 car of uh, Tom Johnson. Let's go ahead and uh, see what happened during that yellow flag. Tom Johnson and Johnny Berardi involved. 
It looks like Berardi just got loose off of the corner. And into the outside wall and collected at the 23 car. Simple as that. Nothing else you can uh, really say to that. And that's going to help that 77 car who hasn't been lower than second. Well, I guess really fifth, but... We'll have to see what happens. This race is going to get interesting. Now that we are inside, just a handful of laps to go. Let's uh, get an interview here with someone. Gonna snag Josh here quick. Hey Josh, this is Sean up in the booth. You got a copy? Yes, I do. All right. Well, you were running up front, and then you got a little loose there. Uh, what happened up front there? Uh, so we were just going real fast there, um, going into the turn, and it it just came up a little bit. Um, made contact, got extremely loose after that. I was real lucky to be able to save it. Great job saving it, by the way, and uh, I'm surprised that the spoiler damage hasn't really affected you much. Um, did you think it was going to affect you at all when you got it? Yes. Yeah, we, I've been I've been very uh, hesitant, you know, with the uh, limited amount of fast repairs. Um, didn't want to use one too early, so that's uh, that's the game plan behind that. Now that we're inside 20 to go, you just paid it. Looks like you did use it, so we're gonna hold on to that second fast repair. That's right. That's the plan. So we're gonna we're gonna try and keep clean here, and uh, hopefully be one of the cleanest cars there at the end of the race. All right. Wish you luck. Hopefully you don't finish second again. <laughs> yeah, you're not kidding. I'd like to get the W today. All right. Good luck. Hope to see you back up front. Thank you. We're getting ready to go green once more. And I would just like to uh, thank uh, this league sponsors, Corner Sports, for supporting the league, the Wise Guys, Signorama, Hollandale Beach, the Grey National Series. Those are the sponsors, and oh, I'll just thank myself. We're getting ready to go green. We're going to restart with just under 17 to go. And if we do one more lap, then it'll be a 15 lap shootout. Unless there's another caution, which very well could happen. Pace lights are off. We're going to restart with 16 laps to go. Chris Roberge is going to take us to that green flag. And try to nail the music for this one. Hopefully I can. We're going to have a great race. It's been a great race so far. Seven yellows. And just uh, probably around 30 or 40 uh, green flag laps here. So let's see what they can do with 16 to go on the restart. We'll do a uh, crank it up thing. Everyone still has a shot at winning this. That 24 car is sitting 13th in row 7. And there he is. Nate Cotilla behind him. He's been in the back all night. So I'll have to see what Nate does to get back up front. Well, up front. He hasn't been up front at all. Let's go ahead, and there goes the pace car. Green flag is out once again here in Daytona.
we go. 15 now. Laps to go. 15 to go. Chris Roberge and David Wilson working against each other to take the race lead here. Dude, they look like rockets coming out of turn at number two. Luke Nup pushing that 98 really well. 45 of Eddie Hawks up top behind that 20 car. And that 24 machine, I think he's just outside of the top 10 right now. Yeah, he's sitting P12. Nate Tillif sitting 13th right now. Fourteen to go now. Chris Roberge is an amazing plate racer. He had speed at the clash, but was involved in a handful of accidents. Here they come out of turn number two. Let's see if uh that's seventy seven cars. Let's see if he can get back to the point. But with no room up top, I don't know if he'll be able to. Eddie Hawks trying to make it Almost looked like he was going to try to make it three wide there. And so one car's going to have a good run out of four. Not good enough to clear, though. That inside line needs to get together. They're not doing a great job of doing so. Here they come. Seventy seven trying to get up front again. Oh, I thought they were four wide for a second there. They're three wide though. Three deep at Daytona. It is doable. Whoa. Our uh ground camera just got run over by Chris Roberge. Unfortunate for him. He's going to lose a ton of spots, yes, but we have plenty of time still. And Wayne Lowe and David Wilson now going to battle it out. That 77 car fell all the way back to, I think, 7th, 6th. Now let's see. Yeah, that 77 car does have front end damage. I don't know where he got it, though. We did have a brief three wide there, so that was exciting for the few seconds that it did last. Let's see if the 77 can clear the 17 and get to that high side. David Wilson, though, he's going to be able to lead the lap in that 20 Viagra Ford Mustang. There goes the 77 up top. Like I said, he was going to do it. He has helps from the 17 and the 4 car. Nate Tella, Fernando Matos, teammates. Whoa, Nate's a little loose there. He saved it. He did a great job there. That's your clash winner. The 4 car won it backwards. As you can see there, won the clash backwards. Mad lad. And definitely likes to make races exciting. So we'll see what he can do. We have 10 to go at the line. Top 6 all double file. Well, really the top 10. Roberge back in the pack there. He, I don't know if he'll be able to make it back up. We'll have to find out. And caution comes out. Don't know what really happened. See if I can uh, find something here on the replay. I hear crashing. So let's see if I can. Uh... It's not showing me. Yeah, it's not showing me why the caution did come out. Let's 
Let's go back to live here. Wayne Lowe, David Wilson, Doug McCollum, Eddie Hawks, and Luke Nup, your top five. Nate Catilla, ninth, and where's that 24 card? Joshua Riddle, 13th. <sighs> this race is about to get even more exciting than it has been. Let's go ahead and uh, grab the... Uh, Grab Doug here. Or, um. Yeah. Here we go. Hey, Doug, this is Sean up in the booth. You got a copy? Yes, sir. Alright, well, you're in the top three right now. Uh, what do you think you're going to try to do to get your car up front and win this thing? Uh, it's kind of hard to hear you, buddy. But, uh,. I'm gonna do all I can, try to push Wayne the best I can, and see what happens here. Do you think you are gonna try to win it? Uh, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. We'll see what happens. If the chance is there, I'm sure I'll go for it. Alright, well, I wish you luck, and I uh, hope to see you up front, and maybe even get the all win. Right, thanks. Move you back there. Wish uh, Luke was in the chat so we could get a interview with him. Let's go ahead, uh, snag Tanner here. Hey Tanner, this is Sean up in the booth. You got a copy? Yeah, yes, sir. All right, so not the luck you've wanted tonight. Um, do you think you'll still be able to get a good finish though? Hopefully. Uh... These guys are kind of just, I mean, there's two lanes. There's outside and inside. I mean, there is technically three lanes unless you want to wreck. So just kind of hoping for a good finish at this point. Just kind of seeing what everybody does. So, we, I mean, we've got the car all fixed up, ready to go. It's just staying out of trouble. What do you think you're going to do within these last 10 full of laps? Well, I could be, I could just hang out in the back or I could just probably go to the front. So, uh. I'm kind of thinking about just going to the front and saying, heck with it, if I wreck, I wreck. Yeah, man, I mean, we got a long season to make up points, so. Alright, well, is there anyone you would like to thank? Oh, yeah, I mean, just thanks for the Le uh, League Administrators or Organizers for uh, Organizers League. Thanks to VRN for the broadcast here. I mean, with all you guys, we can't show ourselves on TV, on YouTube. So, uh, thank you for the opportunity and take, uh, taking us to show the viewers what we're made of. I know it's been kind of a weird night tonight with these cautions, but uh, hey, we got a long season and we're going to have a good season. All right, well, I wish you luck and hopefully you get a good finish. Thank you. Tanner Sharp not having the night he wanted. Let's see if th this very well could be the final restart. However, it probably isn't. Go ahead and get some ones to watch here. Wayne Lowe, definitely one of them to watch. He's had great success here. Eddie Hawks, you've seen him all night long. He's been up front. And don't count out that number 77. He's been up front most of the night, leading laps. Another guy you want to watch out for, Nate Catilla, your clash winner. He makes everything interesting, so don't be surprised to see him make some uh, aggressive moves to get up front. Joshua Riddle, he's not out of this yet either. He's running 10th right now. So let's see what he can do in that number 24, or Chevrolet Camaro. Looks like we're going to restart with just six laps to go. Pretty sure we have uh, three green, white, checkered attempts. If not, I am... Very dumb. We're getting ready to go green once again here at Daytona International Speedway. They're coming out of turn number four for what could be the final time, but I highly doubt it. Here they come. Green flag is out. Green, green, green. Pushing that 34 car 
in the 77 even up to third and Fernando Matos he is up to fourth now and there goes um, the 77 he's up top not trying to get up he's being pushed by the 20 he's had a great career day so far popped out of line. That's going to be huge for that outside row. Tanner Sharp, he's up into the top 10. Eddie Hawks, he's trying to make it three wide. This is going to be interesting. This race ain't over yet. They can have a big crash in that uh, 25 point. The clash, and what I'm seeing so far. They just want to go. Eddie Hawks trying to get around. Chris Roberge now up in the front. All the wrecking. Three laps All right, to go. man, caution is out. Uh, and I'm not paying for that camera. Anymore. And I think he may have had the position when the caution did come out. And that is the case. Luke Nup is your race leader right now. He's going to have that 20 car behind him. And this is going to be a green and white check to finish. This. Whoa! Is that the five? I think that's a five car. Is that the five and green and green? Yep. Let's see what it is. That's supposed to be a green field. Luke Nup is the leader. He had the position when the yellow flag came out. This is not going to be the final caution. I, I can feel it already. The 14 year old trying to get a win. It's going to be a 
heck of a finish, but we'll go to a commercial break just for a few. I racing wall we are one to go now it's gonna be a green white checker I do believe See, this is going to be a heck of a restart. Let's see if anyone's going to spin their tires. Last time, he was leading the, leading the way. He had a great restart and was able to pull away a bit. Not looking to get his first win. I do believe that it will be his first win this season. Well, obviously, it will be the first win this season as well. sure he was involved in that. Let's go ahead and get to the restart camera. It's going to be a green-white checkered for the race win, unless we have another caution. These guys tend to get crazy. Green flag, green go. flag. Green flag is out once more. Inside being pushed by that 20 car of David Wilson. Be coming to the white right flag this time. Alright, man, caution is out. Caution is out. Giant Ferrari. One of the drivers involved. Luke Nup will keep the race lead. Our 10th caution of the night. Back and uh, see what happens here. Oh. Looks like the 46 got turned. Don't quite know who that is. The 46. 46. I don't see a 46. I don't. What? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get a view, another view here. <laughs> Gotta go back a bit here. Oh, I was looking for the 32, not the 46. Still your race leader. 
See if we can uh grab an interview with someone here. Is there David? David, 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 David. No, he is not in any VCs. Hmm. You know what, I'm not gonna build up any tensions yet. I don't know why I did that. So you know, they're green, white, checkered, or ten. Two tents used of three allowed. If I remember correctly. Yes, three green, white, checkers. Seven driver is number 77, 14 years old. And then he's got Wayne Lowe behind him, David Wilson, Doug McCollum, and Ethan Thompson. Younger guys as well, but moving up 14. Looking to get his first career win in the Grand National Division. Let's see what he can do. We should be at one green this time by. Here we go. We need one to green this time by. All they have to do is make it one lap before wrecking, and then they can wreck all they want. Starts to think we're gonna do. We're gonna are we gonna use that final green light check for ten? This will be the final one. See what happens here. Pace car is about to pull off. There it goes. And green, green flag, flag, green out. flag. Green, 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 green. Green, 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 green. That's one car not able to get to the bumper. That's going to hurt that 77 car on the inside. Gonna be able to clear him. Huge running one and two. And they're wrecking again. Alright, man, caution is out. Caution is out. This time, the 77 is gonna be on the outside. He did not have a lead when caution came out. 
However, he will still have that 20 car behind him. That could either hurt that 20 machine or that could or a 77 machine or that could hurt him. But we're gonna use that final fast repair. Let's go ahead and snag Wayne Lowe in here quick. and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we're one to green for the final time tonight, no, no cautions. think is gonna get the win. You got Ethan Thompson, David Wilson, and Luke Nuff on the outside and on the inside. You have Wayne Moore, Doug McCollum, and James F. Off. And Nate Cazilla got involved in that. He's far back. So let's see what happens in this full start.
Wayne Lowe driving the Chevy, trying to get the win. There goes the pace car. Green flag is green out. Flag, green flag. Green flag. Daytona. Both outside and inside, not even to get to each other. Right on that 77 car. The outside is a tighter the inside. Not anymore though, that inside line is definitely getting together better. Luke Nup losing a ton of positions. again. Now Joe Torres is going to try to make a move. He hasn't led a single lap tonight. He is all the way up the track. And it's going to be a throwing <laughs> Here they come at a turn number four for the final time. Joe Torres trying to get the win. The three wide. And the third Daytona, Joe Torres second, David Wilson third, Anthony Mattis fourth, and Ethan Thompson is going to finish fifth. Luke Nuff finished fifth, Christopher Burge seventh, Derek Castor eighth, Eddie Hawks ninth, Lowhead tenth, Johnson eleventh, and here's the rest of results on screen maybe there's the rest of the results on screen for you Wayne Lowe is gonna get the win he's gonna burn her down Come on, Wayne, give us some stuff. There you go, bud. And that'll be the race. Wayne Lowe gets the win. There's the results on screen now. And we're just waiting for uh, people to join the waiting room chat.
All right, Joe. Uh, congratulations on your. I'm a giver and a taker, yeah! Alright, Joe, congratulations on your second place finish here tonight. Uh, great job. Um, what are your thoughts on the race? Well, let's put it this way. That race was wild, chaotic, and very, very, very lucky how I got through that last wreck on coming to the life flag. Uh, I did not expect to even be up there at the beginning of the race with getting caught up in a couple of accidents, uh, causing a few accidents here and there. But uh, overall, I'm just glad that everyone in the 29 team and all my teammates worked together to get to to get to get that position. And it's, it, it really sucks to finish second, but I'll take, with, after, I'll take it after everything we went through tonight. You did have an insanely lucky last lap there. Did you think you were going to be able to get up front at all tonight? No, honestly, practice kind of gave me false hope because we were basically 15th fastest throughout the entire practice session qualifying we were we were pretty good but i feel like we could have done we, i could have done a better job at holding my line for qualifying but uh i thought after the the couple the last three or four wrecks that i went a lap down i thought the race was over there but uh, I had a lucky penny that was next to my that was next to my wheel so it gave me pretty pretty much good luck throughout the entire last lap yeah, I cannot believe it kicked in, and <laughs> I, all I have to say is just, I'm just amazed and lucky. All right, well, uh, is there anyone you would like to thank for the performance in that 29 car tonight? Yes, I would like to thank all the sponsors on the 29 car, Bass Pro, Mobile One. Uh, thank my t thank my teammates. Thank my uh, thank everyone that's been watching. I know a few coworkers and people that are watching this race. I want to thank them. I uh, want to thank uh, Brandon and KDZ and Tanner for working with me throughout tonight. But uh, And thank you, Sean, for getting this interview in, man. No problem. Uh, I wish you luck next week at Charlotte. Wait, is it Charlotte or I think so? I think it's Atlanta. <laughs> I think it's Atlanta. I'm not sure. I might be thinking of the truck race. <laughs> it's okay. Whatever, uh, whatever track we go to, there we go. Atlanta. It is Atlanta. You're right. <laughs> Alrighty then. Thank you very much, Sean. I'll hope I'll I'll see you next week for sure. All right, sounds good. All right, so uh, no one else wants an interview tonight, so um, that'll end the broadcast, boys. Uh oh, never mind. We got Kyle Zimmer. I can't drag him. Can't, uh, oh no, we're gonna we're gonna go back to a uh, technical difficulty chat. All right, Kyle. You had a great race. You started off good. What happened during the race? That you uh, fell back. Oh man, it was. I mean, we started the pole and um, we stay up the front. And I try to stay up the front much I can, and uh, we led by the first 15 laps or so, and then uh, kind of went in pit and got shovel back and uh, got in for an instant kind of the race twice, um, able to repair some damage and. Um, Try to get back up there. Wasn't able to get any track position at all. Um, we had a good shot at the coming to last lap, but I kind of lost lost enough uh, turn uh, turn forward. I mean, um, but was able to save it. And then the big one came through. His white flag came, and 
I'm not the accurate way to me. to play racing. Um, but we still had a heck of a finish when I saw it. And uh, congratulations to Wayne for winning the race too. I wish you could have stayed up front longer throughout tonight's race. Um, absolutely. Um, I wish I was able to stay up longer and then try not to lose position because, uh, I mean, um, trap position was definitely a key all race long. Um, I mean, if you want to try to move, make aggressive, uh, just passes to get up front, probably would be going on the outside because nothing. In sound lane, you couldn't really move at all. You're basically stuck there. And, um, but I'm kind of surprised we didn't have any more to go out to move for three wine, pack, uh, three wine uh, battles at a couple of times. But um, the race over was okay, but uh, it was nothing I could do. I mean, it's how the race process, you know. All right. Is there uh, anyone you would like to thank for tonight? Oh, absolutely. Um, I want to thank you, um, Sean, for giving me a chance to do a um, broadcast this to show everyone um, the disability racing link, um, how we do. Um, I know tonight wasn't the best at all, but um, I'm sure next week will be a lot better, especially if I play racing. And anyway, um, I'd also like to thank um, St. Armour, Caledero, um, Beach for, for the sponsoring this race, even um, I want a huge shout out to them and No Tomatoes for um, support to the link. Um, I also want to thank uh, Miranda and BW Design for um, sponsoring the photo board entire season. Um, I also like to shout out to uh, the Wise Guys for the huge support to the link as well. Um, I also want to thank um, Rewind TV for the support as well. Um, and once again, with, um, I want to thank everyone who gave, gave me a chance to run this thing. Um, I hope everyone, um, including you and the, the viewers, the fans, enjoyed the race. And so it looks like we had a heck of a finish at the end. Um, we have a lot of races to go, so I think you're going to see some really steady races for sure, um, especially next week in Atlanta race, um, where the I is able to have multiple groups, so it should be really interesting what happens next week. Uh, yeah, I also want the last thing I also want to shout out to uh, Tanama Halliday Beach for raising with sponsoring this and uh, and supporting this and giving us a chance. Um, thank you everyone for watching this and hopefully you guys enjoyed the race tonight. Thank you. All right, thank you and uh, good luck next week. Thank you. All right, thank you all for tuning in to tonight's broadcast. Virtual Racing Network is signing off. Have a good day, and be safe, everyone.